Hi. Well, I recently I acquired this type and I wanted a holder. And I thought, well, how can I make one? So I thought, oh, well, I could carve one out of wood. And my son, I think, looked at me slightly, well, hang on, you know, a bit mad. Why not 3D print it? <laughs> so this is what he's made. He's 3D printed a type holder for me. Anyway, I'll show you his machine. Hi, well, this is my son's 3D printer and it's one he actually built from a kit. And it's called a RepRap Prusa i3. And it's a very clever little device, actually. The way I sort of think about these is to try and understand what on earth we're on about. They look incredibly complicated. If you think of a, you've got like a glue gun down here, there's a heated nozzle basically that melts this plastic, a plastic rope coming through, and it melts it, squirts it out, and then you've got these NEMA 17 stepper driver motors, the little motors that give very fine control, and they can pos position that nozzle anywhere on this board using computer software. And so what you do, you get a design, you put it into what's called G-code software, and that will sort of talk to this machine, and it will print out a shape like a spanner or box, or in my case, the little font holder. And it will very cleverly dance all around the board, filling in. The board is heated so that the plastic gets to the right sort of temperature as it comes through that glue gun, and it remains about right. And it forms the thing you're trying to make. So it's very clever. And the electronics, I mean, they're not that complicated. You've got a stepper driver motorboard behind here. You've got a little um, Arduino type circuit board for taking the computer program off the computer. You've got a computer power supply to apply to um, power it all. And you've got a little monitor screen. So it looks like this incredible jungle of wires, but really it's five stepper motors, a bit like a powered router, really a CNC router move it anywhere you want on the board and does the shape. Anyway, I hope you found that little introduction to 3D printing interesting. I must say it'd be very interesting to see how it evolves over the years to come. I think it will play quite a large part in our lives. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching.